Under the lights, with the roar of the crowd, American football is a game of grit, glory, and yes, heartbreak. But behind every touchdown, there's a toll of the hits that made it happen. Putting safety and concussions increasingly under the spotlight over the last few decades. At one university, a group of engineering students turned a question about equipment into a new way forward centered around helmets. One day, the equipment manager at Virginia Tech asked us what helmets should he buy. He was looking to replace some. I think we were the only engineers he knew. And we were like, well, that data don't exist. So we bought the helmets that were available at the time. We tested them all, and we saw huge differences. Fast forward to today and enter the Virginia Tech Helmet Lab. Since then, we've expanded to 10 different areas. So we're not only looking at football players anymore, we're looking at hockey, equestrian, um, snow sports, even things that don't involve sports like occupational head protection. Once one of those engineering students, Steve is now the director, overseeing the next generation using technology to measure the effectiveness of all kinds of helmet types, with sensors rigged up inside these crash test dummies. That testing includes bicycle helmets. For kids, they can come in fun designs, but how well do they do what they're actually designed for? Protecting against head injury. That's what PhD student Caitlin Young wants to find out. Three, two, one. Most of my research is centered around youth bicycle helmets and creating a rating system. It's gonna start with looking at how kids hit their head in terms of location and speed, and then it's going to continue into figuring out what helmets best perform in those impact scenarios that are most likely to happen in the real world. The Helmet Lab doesn't design helmets. They test commercial products and rate them from one to five stars. That information is then made public through the lab's website. Standard helmet safety certifications in the U.S. are pass-fail, so the aim of the helmet rating system is to provide a more detailed breakdown. The sensors measure linear and rotational motion, helping determine the amount of force on the head during an impact. And it's not the only test project happening here today. All right, I think we're ready to go. There's also youth hockey. Three, two, one. So it's a pretty vital impact. We're registering impact over the course of anywhere between zero to 10 milliseconds. And that's such a short time. So being able to pick up different signals and filtering them, I think it's a huge deal. And I think we're only getting better at it, which can just improve helmets in the future. Three, two, one. The technology is critical to what we do. If you think about what we first started doing, it wasn't an original thought. You could look back to the 1970s and see the suggestion of someone saying, well, we should stick sensors inside football players so we can study head impacts. The problem was the tech wasn't there at the time. It was too big, it was bulky, it wasn't accurate. Another pair of students are also testing impacts of a women's lacrosse stick to the head, a sport that, unlike men's lacrosse, typically does not use helmets, except for goalies. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. So we're seeing about a 100 G impact over a very short impact duration, which would be a concussive impact. So these data are collecting that acceleration data and in analysis after the testing or post-test analysis, I'm gonna be able to run through and measure the impact duration that the stick was touching the head form. It's been really interesting to watch that industries very engaged with what we do. They're interested, they're listening, we're collaborating with them. It's a safety product, and it should be held accountable to how safe it is. And people care when they're buying a helmet how much protection it offers. So when we started publicizing that information, it was like a light bulb to manufacturers, and we've seen that across just about every single area we've evaluated helmets in. For these students, it's the chance to make a real-world impact in real time, helping athletes, coaches, and parents make more informed decisions around safety to keep us in the game.